All right, we're live here. And uh, so this is Peter from Boxteak, and we're here very excited today in um, San Francisco today at the Namiku headquarters with Namiku CEO, Lisa Fetterman. And um, hi, Lisa, how are you doing? Very good. Nice to see you. Nice yes. to have you guys. So what do we have here today? So um, I guess today we're going to show the, the actual Namiku in action, basically, right? Yeah. And can you actually tell us, um, I've been wondering for, for about a while, so what is sous vide cooking anyways? What is, what is it? What is the yeah, sous vide so cooking? Namiku is the first ever home sous vide American circulator. And what that means is that we use very, very precise temperatures to cook food perfectly. And this is the machine that you use if you want perfectly cooked food. Every single top chef in the world actually uses this device already. And we're the first to make it for the home. Wow, so you can actually do this at home yourself, basically. Yeah. But the only equipment you need is basically that device there and and, and, a, and a vessel so you here's a namiku yep. this is our namiku classic you clip it onto any pot that you already own it doesn't have to be or well, one of these cambros here anything that's heat safe you fill up with water put your food inside of a bag put it in the water and then walk away when you come back you have a world class meal this is our wi-fi this is what's coming out this fall you clip it onto the front of the pot like so, and you can control it with an app, our app called Tender. Life Maker, um, Life Maker Bot had its Thingiverse. We have our Thingiverse of food, and it's called Tender. You just use it to control your machine, and uh, you use it to control your machine, <laughs> and you can cook whatever your heart desires from it. You can create your own recipes on Tender and share them with your friends. Oh, I see. So you have a specific app that's designed right. to, to, to go with the, the device itself. That's right. You can monitor and cook from anywhere in the world. I see. And that works with the newer device that's coming out. That's right. The Wi-Fi on the right here. Yeah. And you had a very... So are you doing that on Kickstarter as well? Or this is not, we, not itself on Kickstarter? Well, our, our background is that we're makers. Mm -hmm. So we used to travel across the United States um, at going to maker spaces all over to sell DIY open source sous vide kits. We taught hundreds and hundreds of people how to make their own sous vide machine to the point where we had masses following. And they were like, hey, you, you should just make one that plugs into the wall that I can just use. I was like, oh yeah, um, I'll do it right now. So we went to China for three months and made a prototype. One week before our wedding, we begged our wedding videographers with our prototype, like, hey, can you please help us make a Kickstarter video? We put this on Kickstarter and it becomes the number one most funded project in the category at the time. Yeah, we made nearly 600k in 30 days. This for the wife, for the uh, classic Namiku. Right. Back then, people were just like, well, will anybody use this device? I'm like, hell yeah, because I traveled the whole country and talked to thousands of people and they all want it. And then when it came time to launch the Wi-Fi, of course, we went back to Kickstarter. And for Wi-Fi, um, uh, we had a 200k goal. Our first day we met we made 200k in under six hours. Oh wow, we, so already done too. We did a 750k for that one. So to, together on Kickstarter, we've raised over 1.3 million just on Kickstarter alone. Nice, nice. Can we see, so can we see it in action right now? Sure. Let's see how that works. So I should put so, this uh, guy in. There's a question like, what, apart from us cooking eggs today, what other things would you recommend uh, for cooking in sous vide style, like what, what are the popular? Uh, what other things can you cook uh -huh. sous vide? There's uh -huh. so many things. Uh -huh. Steak sous vide is incredible. Uh -huh. At 57 degrees Celsius, that's when the fat and the collagen melts into the muscle, making each bite really juicy and mm -hmm. tender and delicious. I love steak sous vide. Fish sous vide is amazing. They, it delivers this texture that you've never had before. It's incredible. Um, I love all custard sous vide because when you cook custard, as any pastry chef knows, you have to babysit that custard and look at it. Um, with custard, I can just drop it in the water and then walk away and then come back. One big thing that people have been using Nami Kus for that I never expected is to make cannabis butter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that is awesome. So, so what it does is that using this using low heat, we extract all the THC and CBC. BC, whatever the, the things that are in the cannabis, that yeah. if you overcook it, um, you destroy effectively the psychoactive materials that are inside the cannabis. So it's like this very uh, delicate dance you do 
when you cook cannabis and people are relying on Omniku now to make the right cannabis butter and you get like the dankiest stuff from it. I so do. I've heard. Yeah, that's good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a lot more recipes on your website too, right? On the... We do. On uh, eattender.com. Yeah. We also have the Tender app. Right. Yeah, the, yeah. that's the Tender app that your significant others won't mind is on your phone because it means that you're cooking. Um, but the, one of my favorite things that I did w with sous vide with the mommy coup, um, was when my son was born, I had to go back to work two weeks, um, just a two week maternity leave, and I would pump at work. The thing is that I wanted my son to drink the, the right body temperature milk. So I would set it to, ex to exactly my body temperature and oh, have him drink yeah, that yeah. milk. And it'd be ready for him, it wouldn't be too hot, I, would, I wasn't gonna be worried, none of the nutrients that you work so hard to, you know, have the milk for your baby yeah. from, from yourself while you're working, then nutrients get wasted. I see, so it could be like yeah. a bottle warmer. But, but exactly, yeah. exactly. That's one use case I really love. Okay, yeah. one more use case, and then I'll show you how it works. Please. Okay. Yeah, so um, this is pretty cool. Cocktails, sous vide cocktails. People are making their own gin with their own botanicals because the alcohol doesn't burn off. At this, yeah, at this temperature, and you can really, really infuse aromatics very well. So people do this already in restaurants. Um, they do that in California. People here at Alta, at um, uh, at a, a tapas restaurant by the Embarcadero uses it as well. I see. Like, I, I just love getting a sous vide cocktail. You like, you'll really notice a difference. It it makes the flavor so bright. Okay, so here's how you use this. Obviously, plug it in, clip it onto this. I'm putting it in this clear thing so you can see exactly how it works. You tap on it for it to start. And what this is doing right here is circulating the water and heating it to a very precise temperature. This is where your target temperature is, which is the target temperature you want to reach. Mm -hmm. And this is what currently the temperature is of the water. This isn't Celsius right now. I'm going to flip it to Fahrenheit, 102 degrees Fahrenheit. Mm -hmm. Eggs, I like to cook them at 64 degrees Celsius. So Celsius, gonna, okay. Yes, so we're going to turn it to 64. Now you see how easy that was. Uh, <laughs> it, what, it didn't used to be like this. When I worked in top restaurants for Jean-Georges and Maya Vitale, it was like this huge hulking piece of laboratory equipment. But now it's like if you can turn a faucet, you can sous vide. Oh, and with our Wi-Fi machines, it's like if you can use an app, if you can use a smartphone, which yeah. I think everybody out there can because they're doing the smartphone thing right now, you can definitely see V. So here's going on right here, um, 64 degrees Celsius. I like this temperature because it actually makes the yolk coagulate first, then the whites. Um, you can make great eggs benedict with it. Uh, it's really, really fun. Um, I love the way the yolk tastes on your mouth. When you make eggs this temperature, it's like if you close your eyes, you can't tell if it's a sauce or if it's or if it's solid when you have it. So I, I had these eggs pre-cooked sous vide, and I want to show you exactly what I mean. There we go. Look at that. You really, really need exacting temperatures in order to do this properly. Look at that yolk, yum. Oh God, I love spreading this on buttery toast. It's over, brunch is solved. And let's say like I have a bunch of girlfriends coming over for brunch at my house. I'm just like, oh, I'm having brunch at my house. Who wants in? Like I'll just like tweet it, right? Or write it on Facebook. People are like, damn, count me in, Lisa. And then finally I have like 10 people coming over to my house. Well, I just put 10 eggs in, have the toast ready, have bacon ready, and then brunch is solved. That was easy. So you don't actually need any vacuum bags or anything like that for this? Not, not for eggs. So oh, because okay. eggs already come in their own little vacuum pouch. This oh, is nature's little right, vacuum right, right. pouch for me. With certain egg dishes like scrambled eggs, I would definitely put it in a Ziploc bag. So you actually really don't even need a vacuum sealer when you cook sous vide. Um, I think sous vide is really a misnomer. I really like to call it nami cooing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, because sous vide means under vacuum. That's what it means in oh, French. 
and nothing really has to be under vacuum. You just have to remove the air. So we put the, let's say I had a Ziploc bag and a steak. I put the steak inside a Ziploc bag. I dip it into the water up to the seal and the barometric pressure of the water will push out all the air in the bag. And then I seal it and it holds itself really well. And what I love about using Ziploc instead of, or a self-sealing bag instead instead of, um, let's say, a vacuum sealer is that sometimes the ingredients that you cook give off gases during the cup, and that, and that, that um, neutralizes the vacuum seal. Well, with a, a self-seal bag, I can take it out and then reseal it oh, during the cup, so yeah. it's very convenient. This is like pretty awesome. So we saw Lisa cook some eggs, and just look at it. It's so perfect it's so that I just want to have it with some amazing ciabatta bread or maybe whole wheat grain bread you can crack it on top of fried rice oh melt that everybody's just, minds that just sounds incredible so uh, where is this device available it's available on our, on our website namiku.com mm. okay and amazon the mm. grommet mm -hmm. mom and pops mm -hmm. uh, it's available in asia through um Pantry magic. Okay. Yeah. And, and like, uh, uh, how long does the order, like if I have to order today, how soon can it, can I get it? You can get the classic immediately. Okay. We'll ship it to you immediately. Okay. It's available. Okay. And then the Wi-Fi one's coming out this fall. You can oh. pre-order it. Okay. On our okay. website, it's 149. Okay. Order. Cool. And if you're joining us at Box you can actually see the product details uh, on the top of the screen here. Yes. And we showcase the two uh, devices here. Yes. And um, and so so does that have its own temperature control basically? Like yes, yes, it has a very precise temperature control. Let me give you a little background on my CTO, who is also my husband and baby daddy. So he has his PhD in plasma physics, Dr. Abraham Fetterman, plasma physics, astrophysics. Basically, he can do nuclear fusion. He's that's what he's trained in. Um, this heater is very special. It's a PTC heater which means uh, that it's a semiconductor. It can control the temperature very, very well and hold it. In fact, no other heating device out there um, that cooks is gonna have this kind of heater. It's really special technology. And you can control it like this. That's it. And to turn it off, you just press down on the screen. It's resistive touch. It's like you, it really, you can feel it go in rather than capacitive like your smartphone. Because when you're cooking in the kitchen, what I notice when I cook in professional kitchens that is that if my hands are dirty, I couldn't operate about half of my machinery, right? I have to pause, wash my hands, and then things would get messed up. Well, now it, it recognizes regardless of how greasy my fingers may be. And things happen in the kitchen. This is very durable for that case. So this is cool. So here we are with Lisa. She has introduced us with Namiku and the new upcoming version of Namiku which is the Wi-Fi version uh, which comes out this fall uh, it's an amazing way to cook some really delicious food uh, you can find uh, different recipes available on the web tender app t-e-n-d-e-r tender app, uh, T -E -N -D -E -R, tender. Uh, it's available for download on the iOS app store as well as the Android uh, Google store Google Play Store. You gotta have a goo. Cool. <laughs> cool. So this so this has so this has been great and thank you so much Lisa. Oh my pleasure. Thank you.